I've been asked to do the uh, Will Cox and signed rank test uh, for a sample size bigger than 30. So we're doing on page 603, number 9, uh, if you read the problem, uh, the claim is, is that uh, we're going to get better gas mileage. So uh, this is my uh, chart. My null, which is right here, My null, which is right here, is no change. My alternative is that it's improving it. That's the claim. And you have to think about it as before minus after. So if my gas mileage before was 20 miles uh, per gallon, and after uh, would be 23, I'd actually be getting a negative result, which would make me have a left tail test. Our alpha in the problem is 0 0.10, so we do INV norm 0 0.10. That gives me a negative 1.28 as a critical value. The test statistic that we generate is going to be a z-test statistic where we take our Wilcoxon uh, sum value, and I'll show you how to get that in a second, and then we take our sample size minus any zero. So there's 32... Um, uh, total values that aren't zero. Um, there's 33 uh, total observations, but there's 32 that give us a value other than zero. So we use 32 for our n throughout this problem, or throughout this formula. Okay, so you start off uh, with before, minus, after, keeping track of your signs. And then you've got to do the absolute value of all of them. Now, I'm going to show you what I had to do here. So down at the bottom, point 0.1 uh, was my number 1. So I had to travel over here. It got the rank of 1. Now, point 0.2 is seen twice in the table. You see it up here. You see it down here. They take up the second place and the third place. So what you do is you take 2 plus 3 and you divide it by 2, and they each get the rank then of 2.5. Now, they took up the spaces of 2 and 3. So the next number is 4, or the next place I mean is, is 4 that you take up. Now I'm looking for the decimal point 3. So up here is a point 3. And I got another point 0.3 here. So remember, they took up the space 4 and then 5. So they each get a rank of 4.5. Now you do that through for all of these values. And then you give the sign from the original difference to the rank. And I kind of sped the process up a little bit. You take the smaller of the two values. Um, I said that poorly. So you're going to add up all the ranks that are positive. You're going to add up all the ranks that would be negative. And whichever one is smaller, that is the WS in this formula. And you take the absolute value of that in this formula. Well. There's a whole lot of negatives going on over here. And I just had a couple positives. So I just had to add up all the ranks of the positives. And that gave me uh, 43.5, which is right there. Punching this all into the calculator, I got a z-score of negative 4.12. Well, negative 4.12 is way over in the rejection region. So I will reject the null. And when I reject the null, I of course put the line through the null. And then I look at the word claim. Uh, does the claim have a line through it or not? And the claim did not, so that there is now sufficient evidence to support the claim. Hopefully that helps. Uh, have a good break if I don't speak to you guys later.